Hey guys, it's Igor from inspire to make Today I'm going to show you how I made this chain bracelet from a regular steel wire. This design called Persian Chainmail Weave. It's originated in Byzantine Empire and it's old like a dinosaur pool. So it's probably an open domain by now. To make this chain, I'm going to use 16 gauge black steel wire, needle nose pliers, wire cutters, and a steel road. This is a Phillips screwdriver. It's eight millimeter in diameter. If you don't have it, you can use a regular pencil. We're gonna start by making a bunch of rings. This wire is very flexible. It's easy to bend. Any wire of this kind of consistency would work. First step, we're gonna make a bunch of rings. I'm gonna start coiling the wire on a screwdriver. What we're gonna do next, we're gonna separate the loops of the spring and we will create open rings out of that. I'm using an Allen key. Uh, the Allen key should be a little bit wider than the wire itself. If you don't have an Allen key, you can use the same wire. Just make it this shape. Put an Allen key inside and start separating the coils of the spring this way. The next step is to cut this spring into open rings. Take your wire cutter and start chopping the rings one by one. Those rings will be our building blocks for the chain. To make the full bracelet, we're gonna need around 120 rings. To start the pattern for our chain, we're gonna need four open rings. Close first two open rings and keep them separate. Then put the third ring through and close it. Put the fourth ring through and close it as well. Now we have this combination. This is the first step. Now we're gonna put two extra rings through here. One on each side. One here, close it. And one here. Close it. This is our starter pattern. It's a regular chain, double linked. We're gonna put one end of the chain through our lanyard, or like a carabiner of some sort to always know where the beginning of the chain is. So the next step is gonna need your maximum attention. Hold the second link, open the third link sideways, like this. Then holding the second link, open its mouth to reveal those links like this. And get a ring through here. One, and close it. And two, and close it as well. Now we have those two links forward. Those two links are our horizontal links. After this, we're gonna put our next string through here for the side and inside here. Hold those two forward and apply it, get it through. Here, rotate it and through our horizontal links and close it. 
same thing from the other side. So here, for the forward rings, And here is the beginning of our chain. All we need to do is to repeat those two steps over and over again. So imagine this is the mouth of the dragon. You put a tongue in there. One. Put another one. So you have a mouth with a tongue. So now we're going to put a set of rings through the cheeks of the mouth. Through the cheeks of the mouth and through the tongue. Go ahead and close it. Same thing on the other side. Through the cheek and through the tongue. And keep doing it over and over again, just those two steps. First put a tongue in there, then put a ring through the cheek and through the tongue. That's pretty much it too. Now when our chain is ready, we're gonna make a clasp to connect the bracelet together. The clasp will be made out of the same wire. Even though the wire is soft, the chain itself is pretty strong. With this technique, you can make bracelets, keychains, neck chains, anything you want. If you want to make your own chain like this, go to my website, inspiretomake.com, where you can download free, easy to follow, printable PDF tutorial on how to make this chain. Link in the description.